Last week, I spent the better part of two days building me a rod rack for my boat. I used my boat for a lot of different things, so I did not want a permanent type structure. I wanted something that was portable and something I could even use in my brother's boat or somebody else's boat if I wanted to. My brother gave me a piece of angle iron and I used a pedestal from a boat seat and put an all thread pin in the center of it and attached the two together. And then I used half inch all thread supports at each end of the angle iron and then used tie downs to hold the whole thing down and form a triangular type construction. Finally, I drilled holes for six Driftmaster rod holders, but I only put four of them in place for the trial run. My wife and I took the boat down to Palm de Terre Lake, which is the lake that we live on. We went to the closest access point in the middle of the day to see if we could catch a fish on my new rod rack. As usual, it didn't take my wife long to connect with a fish. We were trying to work the brake lines in 14 to 16 foot of water. Sometimes that was difficult to do with the winds blowing approximately 20 miles an hour. My wife at first didn't like the idea of putting her rod in the rod rack. She preferred to troll holding her rod in her hand but gradually I got her to buy into giving the rod racks a try. The sonar on the right side of the screen was showing several schools of shad as we trolled along.
Bring them in quick as you can. That a girl. We've been catching most of our fish out in the main part of the lake. We didn't have a lot of time left to fish, so we thought we'd go to one of the local coves and see if we could catch some there. Keep him on top, hold your rod up and real fast. That's why I want you to hold it up and real fast. Not having much luck in the cove, we decided to move back out into the main lake and make one more pass before we went home. one on the far left rod too. With that little fish, we ran out of time and decided to head on back home, but we had a pretty good day considering that we were fishing midday and 20 mile an hour wind, and my homemade rod rack did just fine.